Hi. Today I'm going to talk about control data flow. Um, so how to route and manipulate data in Max. So first of all, um, let's. Um, there are a bunch of objects that um, try to select um, an input and uh, route the data to a certain output. Or, uh, you know, uh, routing means as well um, doing the opposite and uh, also combine messages together or um, selecting messages and uh, output banks if a message occurs and, and, and things like that. So, and it's quite extremely f important to, to, to know that because um, it this is what you need in the most of batching. So um, let's start with um, with a with this object called gate. And so gate works as a an if statement basically. So if this is this inlet is one this message is gonna go to the outlet if the inlet this the first inlet is uh, zero uh, nothing is gonna pass uh, through through the output I mean what what comes to the second inlet doesn't go to the to the first outlet good so um, so let me show you that uh, I'm gonna use this this message toggle which outputs um, zero and ones, um, and then I'm gonna. Uh, uh, here I can really send any kind of uh, data type, but just for simplicity, I will um, just put uh, an integer uh, number. Uh, I will just do. Um, I will just remember you that uh, this uh, this object here uh, can be called with the i um, key, and this this uh, toggle uh, object can be called uh, by pressing the T key. And if you want to have a list of all the ob of the of the shortcuts, you have to press X, uh, and you will have. A list of um, shortcuts to recall basic objects, as you can see here. You can see it t uh, calls a toggle and uh, an i a number box. Good. So what what I, what I expect? Uh, I'm gonna just um, let's say I'm gonna put a print object here, and uh, so. That means that if this uh, this gate is open, uh, the whatever I will change this number, the number is gonna go to this out here. So and you know the value is gonna be printed here. So let me try. Like so, if this is off, nothing nothing pass through. So I will just you know change these numbers. This number are passing here, but no data is passing through the outlet. Good. But once I, st I activate um, this toggle, a 1 goes to the inlet, and every time I change a value, this goes to the outlet, um, as you can see here. So if it's 1, it's 1, 2, 2, 3, and so on. Perfect. Now it's possible also to... Um, let's say route this this inlet in multiple outputs according to the selected uh, number um, and with that i mean that i i can also give an argument uh, in the gate as it's suggested here outlets int int it needs to receive an integer number and what i'm gonna say is say okay i want to have five outlets and uh, every time i give a specific uh, number into the inlet. Uh, the message coming to the sec from the second outlet uh, inlet is going to be output to the outlet assigned, which with the same number that I assigned into the the first inlet. 
So um, in this case, I don't need any more a toggle because the toggle just outputs um, a zero and one which was good in, in the case of a simple gate with one outlet but in case of five um, I need to I will say let's create message boxes um, like one and two and let's say three for now just for simplicity um, and that means that if I put print one here print two here, print three. I can, if I select one, as you know, the output when I can change the output is gonna go here. But if I now select two, the output is gonna be coming from the output two, so it's gonna go to the second um, the print object. And as you can imagine, the the if I select the three. Uh, all the in everything that goes to the second inlet goes to the third outlet. Uh, notice that the toggle is on, but nothing comes is coming out to the uh, from from the, the from the first inlet. That's that that because be, that mm, we updated the information, the argument of this object, the inlet of this object. So every time you um, send a message. To any object, I will say, and uh, and then you give another uh, another number. This number just change. So although we have here a one, um, I mean, although this seems activated, so it seems to send a one. In the end, after this event, we send another one. So this this event was deleted, cancelled, and this is quite important because. Uh, some beginners users um, encounter this 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 kind of issue, and I want to also show you um, um, another another object which is called the radio group, uh, which is quite useful in when we have to deal with multiple outputs and we want to just select something. We, we are going to use that for in other cases, uh, so I think it's important to to mention this object also here. So if we go to the in, in to the inspector, uh, we can basically um, in a second we need we can change the number of items here with sides. Uh, so I can also so. This um, this inspector shows the layout, so the, let's say the label, the kind of name that mm, you know describes um, the the kind of value we want to assign to to the object and the specific method. And the method I would say uh, is this one. So these are like keywords that if I can and if I connect, uh, if I send this kind of message with a mm, corresponding um, in this data, in this, in this case an integer box, I can I don't need to uh, use the inspector. I just I can just send a message with that with that number. So if I want to, let's say I want to change sides with let's say five because this is. Uh, the, the number of outlets of the gate. So I'm gonna say size five, and I'm gonna send it here. So and when I trigger it, uh, remember always always to uh, lock the patch. Uh, you will have five outlets that, of course, uh, they are gonna start with from zero. So they they are zero, zero indexed. So and since Probably we want to always send something to the outlet. Uh, let's let's say um, plus one here because as I said, this is zero indexed. So the f when I select the first object, it's gonna be zero. And if I want to always have something on, I have to add plus one. So I make a kind of offset to this value. So. When it's zero, it's going to be a one, and so on. Two, three, four, and five. Good. And then I can connect this one here. Uh, I can also delete this. 
these messages because I don't need them anymore. Uh, actually, if I want, I might also delete these sites, but I will keep it here just for for a remind as a reminder. And uh, I can also delete this toggle here. So now I can also let's say have print four, print five, connect all of them. And as I said, we can have many messages. So I can have, let's say, a hello here. Or um, a floating point number. I could even send here uh, matrices and textures if we work in the jitter world. Um, and uh, on the also uh, audio. So stay tuned for the later videos. Um, so going back to uh, the message box uh, max to the max console um, now it's, it's easy we can let's say assign here some some labels by pressing c and create a comment so inlet five and so on of course you can give more meaningful names according to what you're trying to do but i will suggest this might be like a good starting point uh where you you know put some labels here and uh, so whenever you click one of these buttons you, you know what kind of feature you are activating uh, and i'm gonna show you in the future most probably other other objects that, that works in this kind of way which are more user friendly i would say like we ha they have a better user interface um but for now just keep focus on on these objects and so the gate uh is one of the one of the most used objects uh to control data and um, the opposite of it is the switch which has uh which controls uh, an n number of inlets and uh, with this inlet you control which inlet should go to the outlet which is gonna be always one so you're gonna have um, print uh, singular singular uh, outlet whatever put an underscore here just to have one one string and um, and same thing. So I'm gonna just copy this. Boom here. Same thing for um, the the number of outlets. So as you can see, I mean there is this to to change this parameter here. You have to just give an argument as 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 we did for for the gate. So we have inlets, which is. Uh, I mean, we can give any number, any, any kind of integer number, but uh, let's say in this case, again, five or, or let's say three, just to change. So we have now three uh, inlets and one outlet. So, and we can even, you know, uh, change this, put, you know, have different um, data types and say here is better to change to three. So we change this number here. Uh, maybe we can we can you know say uh, string int float. Oops, float. And uh, if I go to the max console now. I have this three three here, so I select string, and the outlet is this one. If I change all these other numbers, nothing happens. But now, if I select int, all only the integers are gonna get outlet, outputted. Sorry, and same for float. So this is quite good. I know that maybe you don't find uh, um, don't, don't find it useful yet because maybe you're just start off uh, with Max uh, since the beginning of this video series. Uh, but you will see that once you're gonna we are gonna make projects uh, with Max, um, this is gonna be quite useful. 
So, um, I would say this is the first part of videos um, and I'm, I'm gonna split uh, this, um, this topic in different videos just to keep uh, everything simple and, and easy without putting too many objects um, in, in, each, in each video. So, stay tuned for the next, uh, for the next one. Alright, bye bye.